So we were going through the composition of concurrent force system till now. We have completed composition of concurrent force system. Concurrent force system can be composed using two methods. As you know, the first method is parallel law of forces and the second method is principle of resolved components. So we have completed both. We have completed both. We were dealing with the concept of composition and we have completed composition of concurrent force system using the parallel law of forces and using principle of resolved components. So we have completed this part. It's already done. Now we have to go through the concept of non-concurrent force system. We have to go through the concept of non-concurrent force system. In order to go through the concept of non-concurrent force system, we need a particular concept. We need a particular concept which is called as moment of a force. Which is called as moment of a force. We need this particular concept. Using the concept of moment, we'll be solving the problems related to non-concurrent force or we'll be finding the resultant of non-concurrent force system using the concept of moments. So we need this particular concept. Or the concept of moments will act as a bridge to find the resultant of non-concurrent force system or to compose non-concurrent force system. So let us go through the concept of moments in detail. Moments in detail. Moments. See, as you know, moment is a rotational effect, is a rotational effect produced by a force. So whenever a particular force acts on a body, whenever a force acts on a body, the force rotates the body in a particular direction. For example, let me consider a body. Let me consider a vertical body in this, in this way. And let me assume that this particular body is being hinged at point A. This particular body is hinged at point A. And let me introduce an external force of say 10 newton magnitude. Say 10 newton magnitude. This particular force, this particular force makes the body, or uh, this particular force rotates the body in, a, in this particular direction. And because of the rotation, there is a rotational effect about the hinge. Our body rotates about the hinge. Body rotates about the hinge. And this rotational effect to produce about the hinge is called as moment. It's called as moment. This is the meaning of moment. This is how we explain moment. So moment is basically the rotational effect produced by a particular force when it is being imposed on a body. Now let us try to understand the method or way to find the moment. Way to find the moment. So to find, to understand this particular topic, let me consider another body and let this particular body be hinged about point A again. Is about point A. And let me introduce an external force of say 20 Newton magnitude. 20 Newton magnitude. And let, let this distance be 3 meters. 3 meters. Now, since this particular body is hinged about this particular point A, let me draw the line of action. Line of action is a line which passes through the arrowhead of the force. Arrowhead of the force. Now because of this external force, the body rotates and there is a rotational effect about the hinge. Body rotates in this direction. Body rotates in this direction. And there is a rotational effect about the hinge or there is a moment which is being produced about the hinge. So we have to find the magnitude of moment about A. Moment about A. So moment about A is found in this way. It is the product of, moment is the product of Magnitude of force. Moment is a product of magnitude of force. Magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation. And the perpendicular distance from the line of This is the line of action of force. Perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation, which is 3 meters in this case. So 20 into 3. 20 into 3. So this is moment about A. Moment produced by this force of 20 Newton magnitude above the point A. So which is 60 Newton meter. 60 Newton meter. This is how we find the moment about a particular point. 
So moment can also be defined in this way. So moment is the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation. Moment can also be defined as the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation, to the point of rotation. So let us try to understand this particular concept in detail. So since moment is the product of magnitude of force, we call moment as the product of magnitude of force. We don't consider the direction of force here. When you find the moment about a particular point, we don't consider the direction of force. So direction of force is not being considered in the sense, even if the force moves vertically downwards or the force moves horizontally to the left hand side, we don't consider the magnitude of that particular force as negative. Usually, if you consider direction, if a force moves horizontally to the left, you consider it as negative. Is it not? The magnitude of that particular force is considered as negative. Or if the same force moves vertically downwards, the magnitude of that particular force is considered as negative. But here, in the concept of moments, we don't consider the direction. Direction is completely ignored. Direction is completely ignored. We just consider the magnitude. Magnitude is only considered. So moment is the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation. So we don't consider the direction. Let us consider one more example. Let me consider a body. Let me assume that this particular body rotates about the point B. Rotate about, uh, rotates about the point B. So let me introduce an external force of say 10 Newton magnitude, 10 Newton magnitude about this particular point A. So let this be 3 meters again, just for an example. Here the body is hinged and it, it rotates about the point B, rotate, rotates about the point B. Now, here the force moves vertically downwards, is it not? Force moves vertically downwards. Force of 10 Newton magnitude moves vertically downwards. There is a moment which is being produced about B since the body rotates about B. There is a moment which is being produced about B. So moment about B can be calculated in this way. It's the product of magnitude of force. Magnitude is 10 Newton. And the perpendicular distance from the line of action. This is the line of action. This is the point. Perpendicular distance is 3 meters. So only the magnitude is being considered. Only the magnitude is being considered. If I consider direction, then I should have written a minus sign here, which is not being written. Got it? So we don't consider the direction. So this minus sign is not included. It's only the magnitude. It's only the magnitude. Since we ignore the direction of force, we don't consider the direction of force. Since we ignore the direction of force, we have to consider the direction of moment. We have to consider the direction of moment produced by the force. Direction of moment is the direction of rotation. It's a simple concept. Whenever you apply force on a particular body, body rotates in a particular direction, is it not? Here, when I apply a force, body rotates in this direction. Body rotates in this direction, which is anti-clockwise, which is anti-clockwise. So body can rotate either in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Body can rotate either in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Since we don't consider the direction of force here, we will consider the direction of rotation of the body. Direction of rotation of the body to give the sign convention. If the body rotates, because of the external force, if the body rotates in clockwise direction, if the body rotates in clockwise direction, then the moment produced by that particular force will be positive, will be positive. Similarly, if the same body produces anti-clockwise moment or rotation of the body, uh, rotation of the body will be anti-clockwise because, because of that particular force, then the moment will be negative. Then the moment will be negative. Got it. So if the force produces a clockwise rotation, if the force produces a clockwise rotation, then that particular rotation of moment will be positive. The same force produces anti-clockwise rotation, anti-clockwise rotation, then the moment will be negative. Here in this case, in this case, force produces, force produces anti-clockwise rotation. Is it not rotation of body rotates in anti-clockwise direction? Body rotates in anti-clockwise direction. So moment about B will be negative, minus. With a bracket and then consider the magnitude of force. Moment is the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance. Magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance. This minus sign is because of the direction of rotation of the body. This minus sign is not because of the direction of more direction of the force. Even though the force moves vertically downwards, we don't consider its direction as minus. We don't consider that. We don't consider its 
magnitude as negative. So this minus sign is because of the direction of motion of the body. So the body rotates in anti-clockwise direction and hence we have negative sign. Hope this is clear. We consider the direction of rotation of the body. We don't consider, we don't consider the direction of force. We don't consider the direction of force. We consider only the magnitude of force. And moment is the product of magnitude of force and the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the point of rotation. This is how we calculate moment. This is how we calculate the moment. So hope all of these points are clear as far as the concept of moment is considered. So we'll be going through the numericals of problems in the next video. Thank you.